And finally, for today's episode, let's turn to David Trim for a look at Adventist history. This week, we hear about mission organization and growth in the Melanesian island region of the South Pacific. Welcome to this week in Seventh-day Adventist history. On March 29, 1918, the 39th General Conference session convened in San Francisco on the United States West Coast. This session was particularly significant in our history because it was the first regular session to be postponed. At that time, sessions were held every four years, and the previous session had been held in 1913. But the state of the world in 1917, with World War I raging, meant that few delegates from outside North America could have attended. And so church leaders decided to postpone a year. As it turned out, the war was still ongoing in the spring of 1918, but the circumstances were somewhat more favorable for travel. And so the session convened with 434 delegates 93 years ago this week. The session met for 17 days, concluding on April 14. All three executive officers, President Arthur Daniel, Secretary William Spicer, and Treasurer Walter Knox were re-elected. As it turned out, three sessions were to be postponed in the following 20 years because of the Great Depression and World War II. And of course, last year, our fourth, the 2020 session, was postponed because of the COVID-19 pandemic. On April 1st, 1972, the Papua New Guinea Union Mission came into operation. The Union then had 36,000 members in 285 local churches. At the end of 2020, the Union reported a membership of 900,000 in 8,230 local churches. Now, the creation of that new Union was part of a wider reorganization of Adventist mission work in the Melanesian region of the South Pacific. As a part of that reorganization, the New Hebrides mission was separated from New Guinea and became part of the Western Pacific Union mission. Now, back in 1972, the Franco-British colony of the New Hebrides had 28 Seventh-day Adventist churches with 2,800 members. Today, the independent nation of Vanuatu, as it has become, is a mission in the Trans-Pacific Union mission, and at the end of 2020, there were 215 local churches and a membership of 26,838 in the Vanuatu mission. In both Papua New Guinea and Vanuatu, there has been tenfold growth in those 48 years. Something to be grateful for this week in Adventist history. <laughs> 